Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be taking a first look at Gold Mythic Zoo who is going to be a character coming to the game via the advanced token wheel. You'll be able to pick up this character with those tokens. We have had a zoo in the past, I believe in the S-Class era I want to say. Um, it kind of was like an off-brand leader. I think it was a, an event character. Didn't get huge usage. I think it was maybe an attack team potential character. I can't fully remember. Um, but this time around, I think it's going to get a bit better usage as it's going to be an advanced character. So generally, it's going to be pretty decent. Um, when we look at the actual visuals, it looks pretty cool. I like it. It's got kind of like workmen from you know the waist down and then from the waist up, it's kind of like um, very much in celebration of Chinese New Year, which is actually coming up this weekend. So, you know, Happy New Year to anybody who cele celebrates that. You can sort of see the um, rabbit motifs on him and in the background on his art on the left-hand side because it is going to be the year of the rabbit. And we see some fireworks on the back as well, which is no doubt going to be uh, lots of fireworks in the weekend. If we look at the art on the left-hand side, we can see it in a bit better detail. You see that little rabbit down by the stone as well. It looks kind of cute. Um, if we look at the stats at level 1,440, limit break three, he has got 17,300 attack, 29,884 defense, 31,457 HP. He's a fast character, considered a tank, of course a gold mythic, and he's going to be joining the Typhoon Allegiance, which means he's going to get all the buffs that's part of that allegiance and potentially adding more to it. Now, first up is Zoo's Adrenaline Rush, and it's called Deadly Provocation. It's a 66 AP cost rush. Taunt two enemies for two turns. Those enemies get 100% infection for two turns. So very, very nice rush indeed. Whether it's on attack or defense, this is going to be highly influential. 100% infection is very hard to heal. Only particular characters can really get that done. So you want to stop this rush from going off. Obviously, you can kind of bypass the first part of this because the taunt can be either cleansed or you can get focused to not you know stop yourself from being taunted so you could potentially break out of this and still do some you know moves where whether it be a rush a signature move so on and so forth so there's maybe some ways out of this but kind of reminds me of gold mythic lao po who kind of has the same but it's stun two for two and then those characters get infection and if they're on the same team well you could potentially be infecting four characters pretty quickly Okay, so we start the fight and we can get the adrenaline rush pretty quickly if we just do a basic attack. We have got Laura here who can command and give 50% AP as you know. And now we have the adrenaline rush. Now we can choose the two characters we want to get taunted. Well, we can choose one of them. The second one's going to be RNG. It will be the taunted targets that also get the infection. So for whatever reason, I want to taunt Alice up here. So I will do my adrenaline rush. We will taunt her. And we'll also taunt Doc Stevens in the bottom right. And you can see they both get the 100% infection. Wherever those taunts land is where the infection is going to land as well, which makes it you know, much harder for the characters to break out, generally speaking, just because you know they can't do anything themselves to stop this from happening. Or at least they can't do anything themselves while they're still alive as well. And if you don't know how infection works, infection is cleansed by someone who has a, just a straight up cleanse or a cleanse of infection or actual healing where you have to heal one percent heal of the max hp of someone for every one percent infection so someone would have to heal 100 percent of their max hp so for instance if they had a hundred thousand they'd have to heal a hundred thousand hp to cleanse the infection if someone has heal reduction on them it obviously makes it a lot harder as well once the two turns run out if the character still has the infection on them they are eliminated it's pretty much as simple as that now, if they have crosshairs on them at the same time, obviously decaps will come in, that sort of thing. You can obviously utilize other um, you know, effects to make this even more powerful. If we look at the upgrades, you can see at grade three, it's going to get plus one to taunt target. So initially it is going to just be a taunt one enemy for two turns. Uh, but it's going to go up for two for two quite quickly at grade three. At grade five, the same sort of situation occurs with the infection, where it's going to be one enemy gets infection for two turns um, but then obviously at grade five it gets the two for two twice so it's gonna be two for two then the infection gets increased to a hundred percent infection at limit break three and i'd say this is quite important particularly if you have some ideas of using this character on an attack team on a defense team maybe not so much but a lot of people do have 
certain like get out jail free cards like i see people using nor on attack sometimes i've even tested it out and it actually is actually very powerful of course so um you might need to get uh, the 100 percent in there just to give yourself a better chance of takedowns so this rush is nice we've seen quite similar in the past with lao po so we know how it works we know how effective it can be if it goes off obviously on a defense team it's much harder for rushes to generally go off especially ones that are 66 ap so on an attack team however it's gonna be absolutely fine when it comes to getting this off and um yeah very effective indeed you get to choose the target and there's gonna be rng on the second like i showed before now next up we're going to look at the signature move and it is called endless infection it has got an initial cooldown of turn one cooldown of one turn number of uses unlimited a single enemy gets 50 percent infection for two turns that enemy also gets minus 20 ap for three turns so if they even survive the infection the ap is still going to be slamming them uh, the next turn which is actually pretty funny um it's the same way as the rush works if they don't heal that infection be at 50 percent in those two turns they will be eliminated this isn't going to control them it's just going to stop them from doing their heavy th stuff especially if he's used on a defense team this is going to stop attack team characters using their rush where attack team characters main power is generally the adrenaline rush this is very powerful of course you can get around it with things like follow-up you can get around thing it with things like um commands but it does mean you have to have those characters in that team it is still very you know annoying even if you command a character they'll lose 20 ap for the next two turns even if they get attacked they'll just lose 20 ap at the beginning of their turn um because it happens at the beginning of someone's turn it is frustrating but zoo will be able to add that infection to another target right at the beginning of the fight as this is turn one now while i do think zoo is going to be mainly a defense team character it doesn't mean you can't utilize him on attack and because of how it works when it comes to the, the synergy with other characters like laura you can do zoo signature move on one character on turn one and then also get the command in and he can get that adrenaline rush off and you can see now he has got three characters infected off of turn one they are two turn infections two of them are obviously bigger than the other infection there are characters that can heal this if for instance i did land on um nor with the 100 percent or the 50 percent i think she has a 70 percent heal per turn and it would obviously cleanse large amounts of this so team ups with things like um hill reduction is going to be vital to make sure these characters get dropped so going into the upgrades you can see at grade two it gets minus one to cooldown so it starts off at a three turn cooldown and goes down to a two turn cooldown at grade four it gets minus one to infection duration so initially it is a three turn infection but that's grade four so that's just one copy so again not too hard to come by then we get into limit break one which requires three copies it gets another minus one to cooldown going down to a one turn cooldown and then the lb2 it gets minus one to starting cooldown where it goes from a two turn starting cooldown down to a turn one starting cooldown i'd say that is quite important especially well actually either on an attack or a defense team you'd want to get that infection off of as early as possible in the fight if you can um, the minus 20 ap for three turns as well is very beneficial on attack or defense again if you notice a character that is problematic that has something like amped i think this would counter it to a certain extent um, as long as it's not someone like sebastian who does have double ap procs which i think might be able to bypass that i might have to test that out and uh, just confirm that but otherwise i think this should be pretty strong uh, again like i say attack or defense it's going to be pretty solid lots of infection coming from this character so far and there's actually you know a pretty decent amount of control as well ap down and taunt not too bad at all now remember with the one turn cooldown this will be every other turn so he'll be able to do it turn one not turn two turn three not turn four turn five so on and so forth he will prioritize his rush over his signature move but he might do his rush in the gaps as well so it really depends on you know the kind of timing remember when he does his taunt he'll gain ap quicker so potentially we'll have a a quicker turnaround on that adrenaline rush as well so before we move on to zoo's mythic abilities we are of course going to be doing a giveaway because this is an advanced token wheel character we're going to be giving away some advanced tokens if you want to your chance to win you have to type the phrase in the chat down below and the phrase is going to be rabbit because it is going to be the year of the rabbit for the chinese new year again happy new year to anyone who celebrates chinese new year best of luck if you enter now back to the video.
So checking out the mythic abilities of Zoo, these are his passive skills. The first passive he's got is, of course, is going to be strength because he is a tank, which is going to be 40% critical hit resistance, means he's going to have less chance of taking crits. And there are a lot of weapons and so on and so forth that proc with that. Next one is called healthy well-being. At the start of each turn, 100% chance this character heals 50% of their max HP. This is going to be very nice, keeps things ticking over, also works in tandem with that specialist skill where it will make it so that it procs every turn pretty much because of how that works. We'll look at that a little bit later and I'll talk about that, but it is going to work quite nicely with the specialist skill. The next one is called Renewal. When this character dies, 100% chance all other teammates get 50% Halo for two turns. This is actually really, really powerful, of course. I don't think I have to tell you how powerful this is, but it kind of plays into how the rest of the Typhoon team are because I think they all have on death like bonuses for the rest of their team. But this is for all teammates, not just Typhoon characters. So this is actually a massive boost indeed. The next one is called Shortened Life. At the start of each wave, while battling on the defense team, 100% chance a random enemy gets 75% infection for one turn. This is honestly gruesome because that is going to be almost impossible to heal in any circumstance. I can't really think of any way you could really get away with that unless, of course, there are resists. And there are some characters that have resists. For instance, Trader brings, I think, himself and two others, or it might just be three, you know, teammates can get resists and this character is not a controller so he would not be able to bypass that but otherwise that's pretty much it i can't think of a character that would actually be able to cleanse it turn one unless they have cleanse within their own kit for instance i think sophia has maybe a cleanse on her signature move and maybe clementine i think has one on her signature move um but it's pretty much just the self unless you're using characters like jesus 2k or something like that on an attack team it's gonna be very very difficult indeed Okay, so we're going to attack here, and as you can see, we have got Infection on one of our characters. This is because of the passive from Zoo. It's kind of just the way it works. Um, I'm going to defend on Duck and Wanderer, and then I'm going to do the signature move of Shane, which should one-shot Zoo here, but Zoo is a specialist, and that means he can block damage, as you can see, and he also heals up 50% of his max HP. He also got a little bit more because he has got a fast healing weapon in his hands. That is not his attached weapon, but I did put it in his hands. And then you can see he does his signature move turn one and another character gets the infection. This can be very problematic, very quick, kind of like collapse of your attack team in the wrong scenario for sure. Now, of course, if we were to take down Zoo and he had some teammates, they would all get 50% Halo. Halo basically means that when someone's taken out, they'll be revived at the beginning of next turn as long as they were not decapped pretty much as simple as that if we look at the upgrades on this character's passives we can see at grade one he gets the first half of healthy well-being where it's a 50 percent chance this character heals 50 percent of their max hp then at grade two he gets the first half of strength where he gets 20 percent critical hit resistance at grade three he gets the second half of healthy well-being where it's going to be a hundred percent chance that this character heals 50 percent of their max hp at the beginning of each turn this is also going to combat infection even if he doesn't heal that's basically how the forced healing works at grade four he's going to get the first half of renewal when this character dies a 50 percent chance all other teammates get 50 percent halo for two turns at grade five he gets the first half of shortened life at the start of each wave while batting on the defense team 50% chance a random enemy gets 75% infection for one turn. This is obviously pretty good in itself. It's 50-50. It can only proc once per battle, at least in a raid or war situation. But if you were to take it into SR or something, it would be every time you went on to the next wave. Then we move on to the limit breaks. You can see the second half of strength comes in, making it 40% total critical hit resistance. At limit break two, it's going to be the second half of renewal making it 100% chance all other teammates get 50% Halo when this character is taken down. And at Limit Break 3, you're going to get Shortened Life 2, making it 100% chance a random enemy gets 75% infection for one turn at the beginning of each wave. That is obviously one of the most powerful passes we've seen. I think it's just like an upgraded version of Mr. Jones. I think he had a, a similar kind of passive where he did infection. I think his wasn't 100% chance to actually occur, whereas it is 100% chance to occur here and it's a massive infection as well. So obviously these passives are really nice. They play into different parts of Zoo's kit. They're just good as a standalone. For instance, um, the renewal is just good by itself, um, but I, I kind of like 
a lot of this. You know, he's adding even more infection to his potential as well. I think he's the the most uh, problematic character when it comes to infection in the game. So powerful passives, quite an offensive-based defense team character. He's going to get some takedown, heavy takedown potential, and it looks like he could potentially team up with the other Typhoon characters pretty nicely as well. Now, just to check out that specialist skill, you did see me kind of test it out when I was looking at the passives in the last clip. It is Tenacity 2. If this character's health is above 20% and they take damage that would kill them, their health will be reduced to 19% instead. This character cannot be decapped. Obviously, the second part is nuts where this character cannot be decapped while this specialist skill is still active. As long as he is not normalized, this will always be the case. But the first half, you saw it blocked massive damage. Shane normally on his signature will one-shot most characters, especially fast characters, but not in that case, not at all. And the fact that that passive heals him back up means it, it will proc again the next turn. So that's obviously great. It doesn't matter how much heal reduction he's got on him as well. As long as it's not 100%, then he'll at least heal with one HP. And that's all it will take to go above up to 20% again. And then obviously it will take at least two attacks to take him down. So, you know, it's just basically making it harder for attack teams to eliminate him, which is obviously, obviously a great thing. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this Tenacity 2 works against a character like Sebastian. I did want to test out if the AP Drain on his signature move worked against Sebastian. So we'll do the signature move here. I think the AP Drain might come in before the procs. It looks like it did, because Sebastian will still rush. But because of that specialist skill, it doesn't matter. I can't be one-shot by someone like Sebastian, which is a massive benefit, of course. And then, of course, we can just um, taunt if we wanted to right now. But I'm not going to waste the rush. I'm just going to hit defend. He'll rush me again. And then I'll get down to 20% or 19% as the case may be. And then he'll back up again. But obviously Sebastian will be taken out because of that infection that's sitting on him right now. Now the next and final part of Zoo's main kit is going to be his attached weapon. And it's Zoo's sturdy Jian sword. It has got 35% defense. 35% HP, improved defense plus attack down. When being attacked, a 60% chance to cause minus 35% defense and minus 35% attack to the attacker for their next two turns. The last slot is Typhoon Allegiance. All incoming trait advantage damage against Typhoon Allegiance teammates have the multiplier reduced by 30%. This is actually really, really powerful. This should also include combat mods. So if I had an alert character with attack versus fast, it would still do the 30% reduction against those mods. This is going to affect all Typhoon Allegiance current members, which includes Wang Fa, who is heavily, heavily used, as well as Lao Po, again, another heavily used character. There are, of course, other Typhoon characters as well. There's going to be Mr. Lu, Jie Feng, and, of course, we have Dayu. So you can potentially put together an entire actual Allegiance team if you so wish now i really like this i hope they start doing this more where they bring out characters from old allegiances they do this you know from time to time they did this with michelle and that suddenly made the um, whisperers kind of more exciting and now they're doing it now with typhoon allegiance again it's making it a little bit more exciting we'll see what the future holds when it comes to other allegiances but for now typhoon looks to get a little boost even if it's just one or two characters so that was just a little first look at Gold Mythic Zoo, and he is, like I said, going to be an advanced token world character coming to RTS. And I think this character is pretty handy. He could work on a nice team. I think Wang Fa is still quite heavily used, so he can definitely slot onto a Wang Fa defense team. It buffs Wang Fa slightly, and it also is, you know, a very handy character to have on a defense team. Very, very offensive minded. So he could be the only actual like take down potential on a defense team and it'd still be extremely solid because those infections are higher and against the you know attack team characters it's going to be very very nice indeed he could team up with a tyrese team because he's fast and get some buffs from like martinez and so on and so forth i think there's quite a few options for zoo which is actually kind of cool let me know your thoughts though on gold mythic zoo in the comments down below best of luck in the giveaway i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving.